Hi, it's Tech Kim. So I wanted to revisit the last tutorial I did, which was this matching game. And I used the if then else statement and variables to keep track of um, the user matching objects, in this case balls to letters. Um, and what I found out is when I published it on Scratch, I couldn't website, I couldn't actually move the balls like I wanted to. So I want to show you how to fix that problem. And then I also want to show you a feature called Broadcast, which is a way that you can um, create multiple levels with Scratch. So let's go over to Scratch. And what I found is that for each sprite, you'll see that there's this uh, lock. And in order to drag it on the website, I have to click it so it's unlocked. So for all the balls, I'm going to click Unlock. But I don't want to unlock uh, the letters or um, my little monkey here, so I'm going to keep those locked. So that should fix that problem. The other thing is now that we know that these variables work, um, I don't need them to show up on the screen. So I'm going to go to variables and click them off. Okay, now let's say that when you win this level, all these objects disappear and a new background comes on. How can you do that? Well, the first thing you're going to need to do is add a background to the stage. So we have our gravel desert, and I will just add the movies. Okay, um, that means we're going to need to tell Scratch that when we start, that the background I want is not the movies, but the gravel desert. So let's make sure that works right. And if you remember, we drag the balls onto the correct letter press space and we get win a win. And what we want to happen now is for these objects to disappear and the background to change. And what we're going to do is use a broadcast to indicate that the game, the user has won that level. So I'm going to go over to um, my, my referee character and I'm going to use, remember here this is how we know that um, the user matched to the right thing and we say you win. Well, we can also do a broadcast at this point. So I'm going to do a broadcast, and we'll call this broadcast level 2, so that we know when the user has won, they're ready to go on to level 2. And at this point, we just want to do a costume thing where when I receive level 2, I'm going to hide this costume. So we do that for A, and I can just duplicate this code, drop it on B, duplicate again, drop it on C, duplicate again, drop it on the ball, duplicate it again, drop it on the rest of the balls. Now we do want our um, referee to appear, and we want the stage, the background, to change. So in that case, we want to do when I receive level 2, switch to background the movies. So let's see if that works. Playing the game. Oops, let me do it right this time. So this time when I press space, great, um, they all disappeared. Now one problem is if I click start again, <laughs> my objects don't appear uh, because we hid them and I won the game. So the other thing we have to do is when I click um, start, we also need to show. So we're just going to need to add that to all of our sprites that we want to show up on the initial level. All right, let's do that. Great, and we'll restart. And there we are again. So there you go. Um, and I'll publish this up, and hopefully now uh, the balls will move uh, when it's on the website.